Hi everyone, Knoopsy here, and as many of you know, I'm a pretty big fan of the iPad Pro and iPad OS. And because of iPad OS, I can pretty much use this as my main daily computer. This idea of using the iPad as my main sort of computer device has led me on a very interesting journey to find the best Pro apps for the iPad Pro. Now, I'm a student and I also do a lot of creative work as well, like graphic design, video editing, photo editing, and more. So this video is about some of my favorite Pro applications for the iPad Pro, mostly focused on creativity. And just so you can get a better feel about how other people use the iPad Pro with their favorite Pro apps, I've also invited some fellow dedicated iPad Pro YouTubers to share their favorite apps and how they use them on a daily basis. Let's go. So first up is Affinity Photo. You know how Adobe said the full version of Photoshop is coming to the iPad pretty soon? Well, it is still coming, it's in beta right now, people are testing it out, but Creative Cloud is a deadly, deadly trap. If you're not a student or can't get Creative Cloud subsidized or use it for tax purposes or whatever, it costs a lot every month. And Affinity basically makes the best alternatives to Creative Cloud design-focused applications. So Photo is their Photoshop replacement, Designer is their Illustrator replacement, and Publisher is their InDesign replacement. I've heard great things about their entire lineup, but I mostly use Photoshop on a daily basis, so I'm going to mostly talk about Photo here. I use Photoshop for a lot of photo editing for class projects, and my main use case is YouTube thumbnails. So I set out to actually recreate a thumbnail I made in Photoshop, but make it entirely in Affinity Photo, and I was genuinely surprised how close and how incredible Affinity was for this project. Now keep in mind I am using the iPad OS beta with a mouse and a keyboard, so it makes things much easier with Affinity Photo, and I highly recommend having these accessories if you do plan to get this application. Without mouse or pencil or keyboard support, things would definitely be much more difficult. But that being said, Affinity Photo is very full featured and has everything I needed to actually make my thumbnail and even more into a reality. You got curves, pen tool, masking, layers, history, clone stamp, add noise, get rid of noise, filters, all the things I needed were there and very easy to access. And yes, you can also import, edit, and export PSD files from Affinity Photo, and that's pretty sick. So any existing projects you have to access that you've done in Photoshop or things that people send you as PSD files, you can still open them, still edit them, it's amazing. If you want to leave the expensive Adobe world, pay once for an app and that's basically it, and still have all the things you need for photo editing, Affinity Photo is legit. Now, on the contrary, back into the Adobe world, Lightroom is great for very light photo editing. We're talking like very basic stuff like adjusting colors, filters, white balance, and curves. Nothing intensive here like you'd use Affinity for. I can quickly import photos from an SD card, adjust what I need with the sliders, and it works amazing with a pencil or mouse, then send them through AirDrop to my phone for posting on Instagram or elsewhere. Lightroom on the iPad Pro is really fantastic for editing raw files on the go. If you just have to do a really, really quick edit, it's perfect. If you do any sort of digital drawing or painting on your iPad, you gotta get Procreate. It is the greatest of all time. There's layer support so you can have as much control of each element of a composition as you want. And you can also export the final file as a bunch of different file types including a PSD, which you can edit in Photoshop, and of course Affinity, layer by layer. I'm no master painter or illustrator, but I still use Procreate for doing very detailed rough sketches of projects for school or YouTube thumbnails, but for actually taking the time to make the very detailed, finalized versions. Procreate is also great for making really elaborately detailed backgrounds with painted looking textures. I've used Procreate for plenty of projects to get very unique textures and get that really cool certain effect that I'm looking for. Procreate is sick, and if you do any sort of graphic design, illustration, whatever, it's a must have for planning, working on specific elements, or final executions. It's incredible. For making the absolute best looking presentations, Keynote is my go-to. Now, I often use Keynote for making presentation decks that I actually have to go up on stage and present often, and sometimes just for actual presentation layouts that I simply hand in for classes. You have full control over animations that are buttery smooth, great text formatting options, great image formatting options, and it's just super easy to learn and use on the iPad. Plus, if you have iCloud, it transfers to your Mac, your iPhone, whatever, and if you have an Apple Watch, you can actually control your presentation by tapping your wrist, and I think that's pretty damn cool. 
While some people prefer PowerPoint, I find that I have the best results of presentations if I use Keynote. Also, the iCloud collaboration feature for groups is pretty amazing here too. I can start a Keynote, have people add in files, text, images, elements. It's pretty amazing how we can all work together, hop in a call, and actually all see the exact same thing and any changes are real time. So these are some of my favorite pro iPad Pro apps, but let's hear from some other YouTubers as well. Hey, it's Chris from Daily Tech, that's Daily T-E-K-K, -K, and the app that I wanna share with you right now is called MindNode. It's probably the most used app on my iPad Pro in terms of business stuff, and what it is is a visual brainstorming tool or outline tool, and I actually use this to basically come up with an outline for my videos. I use this instead of a script. And so there's several things that I like about it. Number one, it's got some really cool themes and the default is just super clean and simple. I also like the quick input method of getting stuff into a mind map. And so there's sort of just an outline that you can build to sort of get yourself going. And it's got a lightning icon because it's lightning fast. And then you can turn that into a mind map and just rearrange and drag stuff around to organize whatever it is that you're working on. I love it because it lets me literally map my brain and get a ton of stuff done. What's poppin' people, my name is Noah Herman. Uh, and like Isaac, I absolutely adore the iPad Pro 11 inch and I bought it primarily to replace all the notebooks I'd be lugging around at university. And as you can imagine, my favorite app is a note-taking one. It is Good Notes 5. Um, it's about $7.99 in the App Store, so a little bit pricey, but I absolutely love it. It's a very fluid note-taking experience and you get so much customization in terms of what paper you can use to the covers of your virtual notebooks. So yeah, I've covered this more on my channel. There's a link somewhere you can check my stuff out. But yeah, thank you Isaac for having me on here. I highly recommend this app and it's definitely worth the price you pay what up players my name is travis and i have a tech channel here on youtube where i talk about tech and have a fun time doing it i'm sure my link will be in the description but i'll tell you the one absolutely amazing and absolutely indispensable app that i use on my ipad every single time is luma fusion i edit every single one of my videos on it it was about a year ago that jonathan morrison from tld kind of hit me to it told me that Editing on your iPad was actually a thing and LumaFusion could be the entry into that. And I'll tell you right now, after having used it for the better part of a year, I don't wanna go back to editing on my PC. Everything is so quick and so intuitive and being able to use my hands and even the, uh, pen, the smart pencil itself to be able to edit different clips down is amazing. I never thought it would be so cool. And not only is it really fun and kind of really tactile, but the speed in which everything works is just, it blows away my personal PC. As a matter of fact, I've even used some footage from a professional red camera at 4K, super high bit rate, and edited it on my iPad. LumaFusion is amazing. The export times are amazing. It can do anything I need it to do. And to be perfectly honest, I, I think it's one of the most underrated apps on the entire app store. If you video edit at all, you need to download LumaFusion. I've been using it nonstop and I have no intention of changing. What is up guys? My name is Tosif Hussain and I make videos about tech, gadgets, filmmaking and lifestyle over at my channel Tosif Hussain. Now, my favorite iPad Pro app currently is called Things3 and it is an organizational powerhouse. Here's why. Firstly, the second you open it up, you'll notice that the UI is super simple and clean and easy to understand. Over to your left, you'll see the standard task to do today and upcoming tasks, etc. However, down here you have the ability to add categories and projects for specific things in your life. So if you're trying to work on multiple things at once, this really helps you stay organized. Within each of the categories and projects, you can add tasks and within the tasks, you can add notes, you can add checklists, schedule them, tag them with specific labels, and even flag them for deadlines so you know when to get it done. So this much flexibility and the amount of layers really allows me to get creative in the way that I want to stay organized. All right, guys, that's it from me. Isaac, thank you for having me. What are your favorite iPad apps? What desktop only apps would you like to actually see on the iPad? Tell me in the comments and thank you for watching. Peace and love, peace and love.